Guess who was back? Back again. It's brutally honest, gamme. Hi, it's Dave, the brutally honest gamer, and we're back in the dungeon arcade. I'm going to be doing something a little bit different, as this is going to be more of a restoration video and a hope that it works video more than anything. I, re I had recently purchased a new machine. It's a Bally Draw Poker and it's from 1984 and it has a few issues. Um, I could hardly find any information on this machine anywhere. So more than anything, I'm just really hoping to be able to provide information to other people that might be looking at these machines and having problems with them that are similar to the ones that I'm having. Uh, nothing really major, I don't think. Um, I'm just hoping that it really needs just like a good clean. Um, but I don't know if it's going to be quite that easy. So let's take a look at it and then we'll go through the first step. Okay, so it's just it's just easier for me to show you um, with the camera. So this is the draw poker that I have. So it's from 1984, and it is electronic. Obviously, there's a screen in it. Um, so I want to turn it on just so you can see exactly what we're attempting to do. Cosmetically, it looks fine. Um, so not a whole lot from the outside that needs to be done. Okay, so flashing red light means no bueno. And we're going to let the monitor warm up. And here it comes. And if, regardless of the screen burn that's on it, the monitor, I don't know if you can, if it's easy to see, but it's actually pretty good. So I really don't want to do anything with the monitor. However, what we're going to be looking at is right there the bad battery so whenever I went to buy the machine uh, it was fully working it was perfectly fine and uh, but it had been plugged in um, and then once transporting it back to my house or being unplugged is when the battery went bad and it just will not charge and unfortunately the machine needs a battery in order to actually work uh, so The other thing that was wrong with it too um, was that the coin mechanism was jamming and this thing actually takes nickels and I was able to get the, the when you take this thing apart here there's this little I don't know what this is or why it's in there uh, but I took it out and the the coins would fall down and hit the, the switch that would put in a credit now I was able to get this thing to work briefly and I know that it was registering credits uh, without that plastic piece so I know this part of it works but you can see it is pretty dirty inside so I'm gonna take the thing the thing that's actually pretty neat with this I'm gonna turn it off is that basically everything just slides right out so the hopper it'll just slide right out so we can see in there now there's there's the battery there so I'm gonna try to make sure all the connections are, are fine and get a voltage meter and see if it's if it's okay and and then go from there but the first thing I'm going to do, so these boards, so these boards actually just slide, they just slide right out. And then they're connected, so we'll have to disconnect these. But you can just see the, uh, the dust and everything. So the first step is just to give, and you can see everything in there. So the first step is to give everything a thorough cleaning and then we'll plug it in and then see what happens. Okay, so we're back with the Bally Draw Poker from 1984. And I actually did find a workaround to, um, to the battery issue. So 
it looks like I'm not going to have to buy another battery or refrotter uh, anything. So let me just show you real quick. So like I showed you earlier, whenever I was doing the cleaning, I noticed that the board right there actually has dip switches on it. So if you dip number six is probably facing in towards the machine, flip that one back and then re-plug in your board. All right, board is back in. We'll flip the switch and we'll shut the door. Okay, we do not want that light to turn red. Okay. And we want that battery bad to not be on there. Okay. All right, so now, interestingly, the monitor went from from blue to red. Not sure why. Okay, we are back, and apparently I just did not have the board pushed in enough. Nope. Five. All right. So now that light is up, is on, but I'm gonna have to take it apart and see if I can't get the other lights to, to come to come on. All right. So I'm gonna see if I can get it to hit. Oh, here we go. All right. Nice. Okay. Alright, so that has paid, then you hit the collect button, and then there's your haul. And then the other thing I find that's cool is the, uh, so this change button, it took me a while to figure out what it was, and then I realized that if you run out of, if all you have is, is dollars, and you run out of coins, It'll, it would alert the uh, wherever this machine was at, whatever casino or whatever, that um, there was a uh, the attendant to come and make change. So overall, I think it's a pretty pretty cool machine. Of course, now it's all messed up again, but <laughs> it needs some work. But as far as the oh hopper jam, okay. That's no big deal, that happens. Um, so, but as far as the, the, uh, the bad battery, um, flipping that switch, uh, the dip six down towards you, uh, that fixed it. So hopefully you found this informative and helped you with your machine. And if there's any questions or comments, please leave them down below. As always, I ask if you would, wouldn't mind uh, throwing me a sub. And as always, thanks for watching.